faithful God, you never change. I put my trust in you. Okay, let's dive into it. I'm opening my plural eyes for. Let's import, add media, go to the file you want to import. Uh, okay. When you import, import the file that you want to synchronize. All right. Yes. We are waiting for the file to load. Now we click on synchronize. As you can see, you can see this notice or do I say this um notification that says two tracks contains clip from several device. New track we are created for each order. Now this is very wrong and this is the issue we are facing. With this, whenever you imported it into Premiere Pro, everything will be scattered. Everything will be shattered. It will not be in the order. You will find out that scene 1 is in scene 2. Scene 2, everything will be reshoveled in a random form. You export. Yes. But first of all, you have to save it into a location where you can be able to remember and import it into your Premiere Pro. So we are on Premiere Pro now. We import. We're going to look for the SML file which we exported from the Plural Eyes. So that we import it. Now here is the file. Good. Fine. We are going to import this now. That is it. To now is loading, importing. When this thing we import, you find that we will be having a missing file. The reason we are having this missing file is because this file was um, on B raw. So I converted it to to move, then revert it back to bureau. So we are going to be having some missing file. If you want to learn more on how I did this, there is a link below the description box. Go through it and learn. So let's dive into this. So I will look for the missing file, then link it up. So let's dive into this. So I will look for the missing file, then link it up. Mm, yes, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the thing will automatically link. Then the remaining one, I will link the camera to. Okay, I am linking up the files. Just link up your files. Depending on how many cam cameras being used to shoot the video. Now I've imported the files. Mind you that whenever you link up your video with plural eyes, that it helps you sequence your footage. It helps you arrange it and create sequence on its own. So no need of you coming to Apple, coming to Adobe Premiere Pro and start creating sequence. You just have to double click on the very clear sequence after renaming it, after renaming the sequence on whatever thing you want it to be. At. So like this one now, I renamed it to what I decided or what I want it to be. At. Now let's go back to the tutorial. Now, as you can see, this is these are the videos, the clips, which I sequenced on plural eyes and you will discover that everything is being scattered they are not well arranged the way i want it or the way it should be or the way camera shot it 
Now here you can see that this is an a medium shot and master shot of different scenes being mixed up. Why? Because we failed to do the right thing that we should have done in plural eyes. There is this setting. Many people don't know about this setting, but today we are going to solve this. Just take a look at this. Now, we are in plural eyes. Let's take it as if that I have imported all the files needed for me to sequence or to synchronize by the plural eyes. Okay. I'll come to each channel. It's very necessary. This is ready now to synchronize. Come to each channel. Right click. You will see these two mat wherever. Just make sure you uncheck them. Fine. Then you right click again. Make sure you right click again and again and make sure that those things are not checked. Fine, they are not checked. I go to the second one. You can see that it's been checked again. For uh, okay, I'll uncheck it. Now I will now go to the next channel. Depending on how many channels you have or your camera have or being shot, depending on how many clip you imported or channels. So when I'm done with this now, you will discover that this thing we start synchronizing without splitting or without giving disorder it will synchronize according to the order of shot from the master shot to the cu from the cu to all the scenes accordingly how it's been shot now you have to save it accordingly just the way we did previously just like that save it in the location that you will remember and then ready to import to your pro to your Adobe Premiere Pro. Find you export. Then this red one you are seeing here has no meaning. It means that is this one has no clip to synchronize or is not synchronized. It doesn't have much to be synchronized with in the clips. So they can be called chaff or something that has no link with other clips. So, please, can we dive to Adobe Premiere Pro now, where we can import and see the difference between now and before. This video is not for people that, um, is not for beginners. This video is for people who has been in Adobe Premiere Pro or who have used Plural Eyes 1 to 3 and then... Um, when they came across this for they were confused and don't know how to arrange their job maybe after after importing your synchronized job you discover that everything is being scattered and being disordered same one with them um, master will be in scene 7 while the master of scene 7 will be in scene 2 that kind of a stop and so and so on on this tutorial we we'll solve it now 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 let's bring in the um, sequence being created by the plural eyes. Please don't mind my English or my intonation. I'm an Indian man who lived in Nigeria, so I'm not too good at speaking English. Thank you. Now, as you can see, this is the latest one we. Everything is being synchronized. Everything is being ordered the way it should be. I hope this tutorial solved your problem. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. We believe and I believe that solved your problem please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't also forget to leave your comment on the below the comment section box and we will be dropping new videos on how to solve many issues on blue eyes and adam premium pro 
See you next time.